Hi, my name is Joe Miller, and today I'd like to talk to you about something I'm really passionate about, which is the art of civil engineering, and I'd like to do so through the medium of a poem. I wish to say I believe, as a start, that civil engineering is still an art, but the profession right now suffers from a heavy heart. We may wrap it up in facades of glass, brick and grass, but whether hidden in or in view, engineering's always changing, relevant and new. And let me say something rarely argued, concrete is beautiful, whether grey, green or blue. This is how modernist history reads. Now it may not be of an artist's creed to shape nature to their need, but the civil engineering breeds didn't get a blank canvas with which to conceive. For if civil engineering is our art, it expresses our values across a variety of hues, with ideas that translate from our heads into blots on the landscapes. We can escape or accept this fact that our effect is on both places and faces, and our signatures leave traces in these spaces for unknown yet ages. See, our art isn't dead, though some are misled and imprisoned by spreadsheets, fed by standards that homogenize minds. It's no wonder to find that mental health has decayed and innovation's a slave. Surely there must be another way. I challenge engineers with this comprehension. What is your intention with your latest inventions? Are you investing in truly brighter tomorrows? Or is such a virtue a loan you won't borrow? For Sir Ove Arab and I.K. Brunel had a story to tell with the plans that they'd sell. But what are we making? I think they would yell. Had they known that ambition could eclipse the world? See, infrastructure for me is to connect. Not through locomotion or through pipelines that move data across oceans, but also with emotion tales of our forebears past to the futures that we notion should we let our descendants grieve because like thieves we took from their means and played victim to fashionable themes letting change take us on its breeze with or without icebergs surely this leads to the depths of a murky and polluted sea as we labor on shipwrecks of apathy and greed or should we be the ones that retrieved our debt to these lands while they can still breathe, creating real assets, treasures indeed, that safeguard what our children need? If this is your vision, please come take a lead. Thank you.